Hi, this is a presentation on how to use Adobe InDesign and Creative Suite or Creative Cloud with Microsoft SharePoint libraries. Welcome, my name is Eric. The goal here is to be able to share the InDesign file with the rest of the team. Of course, we want the links to remain active. So if someone updates a Word document, a Photoshop image, an Illustrator uh, document, or any other file linked to my InDesign document, the links remain active and the updates happen. I want to be able to op open, edit and save my files and even create new files and save them directly into the SharePoint library without having to sync to local desktops all the files. So how do we do that? So this is my SharePoint site with a, a library called Brochure Sample Project. That library has, in the settings, I activated the versioning, the approval status, and the checking checkout features. I uploaded a few files by simply drag and drop. So I have a Word document, a Photoshop file, and an InDesign document. I created additional columns for the uh, use type, the status, subject, author, approval status, and other columns if I needed them. Now the next step, of course, is to open up the InDesign file and edit it. One of the easiest ways to do this is to go to the Library tab and ask to open in Explorer. This will open up this library in, in Windows Explorer. The library opens up in Windows Explorer and now it's exactly like if the files were saved on my local machine or my ser local server, I have access to the documents. A couple of things to notice is the first, the address. As you can see, I could go in there and copy this link, this address, this location. So when I go File Open, File Save As, I could paste this as a location and open directly from the library or save directly in the library. In this case, I will just double click on my InDesign document and opening it up. So my InDesign document opens up, ready to be edited as per usual. Every time I add some content, for example this, and I go File, Save, it will of course update my SharePoint document. To place some information I will go File Place and add at the top there, paste that link to my site, which automatically will allow me to access my Word document or the Photoshop file that I already uploaded. Then I click on Open, Open, and here's my Word document ready to be placed. Exactly the same for a Photoshop document. Place. Photoshop. And here's my Photoshop document. Not very pretty, but it's just a sample. And here you go. And as per usual, I could apply any modification, any settings, any formatting I need to apply in my InDesign document. All I need to do is to keep saving and it saves straight to the library in SharePoint. In the case of a new document, I will go File New, New Document. Uh, accept the defaults for the moment. And I want to save this in the same library. So once again, Save. And in the address, I will paste once again the location of my SharePoint project. Click on the arrow to get there or return. I end up in the same place in SharePoint online. I will change the title. So for example, this is sample sample number two dot INDD and click on save. And automatically this new document will be saved in SharePoint. If I go back to my library in SharePoint, as you can see, my second sample doesn't necessarily display. That's because uh, I need to refresh. It's a web page. So let's refresh. And as you can see, the content is there. I have my sample to currently opened and locked. 
That's the check-in, check-out feature. So I would need to close it and save, save it and close it. So the file is now unlocked and someone else could use it. Right now it explains, it displays to my team that they cannot work on sample 2 because I'm working on this. There's another possibility, of course, is to map a drive to the SharePoint library, which means scrolling down to Network, right-click on it to map a network drive, follow the instructions either by putting the address of your library in the folder and give it a letter, assign the letter, or simply uh, follow the wizard of Connect to Website then you could continue and depending on the operating system it will create um, a shortcut basically here brochure sample here's my shortcut and here are my files they do not sync to my local machine it's exactly like if they were on my local server all I need to do then is to have my colleagues do the same thing it will the process will vary from machine to machine depending on the operating system this is Windows 10, it does it quite easily. Windows 8 is a bit more difficult. Windows XP uh, used to do it really, really well. So it really depends on the operating system that you use to map a network drive to an online resource. But once again, it's a question of copy-pasting that uh, address at the top of the screen in the, web, in the URL there or in the location address there. Now, next time I will restart, I have this T drive ready to have all my files. And I could easily share this uh, with all my colleagues. So here you are. For Windows operating system, two options. The first one is to go to the library. From the library tab, open in Explorer, where you will have access to all your files, to drag and drop, to open them, to edit them, work on them. Don't forget to copy the address at the top of that window. So you could use it when you go open, save, and map the network drive. Option two, you could map a network drive. It will vary slightly depending on your operating system. And you could easily then uh, share all your files with all your colleagues. The links will remain as long as you link the files, the resources. That's Illustrator. That's uh, Photoshop documents, JPEGs, PNG, any kind of images, illustration, text from Word. All those links need to be done when all the files are in SharePoint first. So InDesign remembers that the original file is not on your local machine or on your server, but the original is actually located in SharePoint, allowing your colleagues to edit the documents and a very, very smooth workflow. Best of luck.